like again you're <laughs> you're tweeting about star wars like yeah. and, and it's a it's a fa- you know it's a it's a fan thing it's like an idea of like the thing that you're passionate about and you want to blow it up you've got this massive platform dude <laughs> it's like everything about it makes total and complete <laughs> sense to me and then people just lose their mind like they lose their mind <laughs> or they see it as an opportunity to sort of get their own clout right like literally like i'm sure there were people out there that just did it because they were like oh man this is a thing and now we're all doing this and it's star wars theory and so people will all like retweet it and talk about it and all this kind of stuff you know it's it's the way it is yeah it is what it is yeah it's uh unfortunately it is the way that it is but i just i thought that was so hilarious i want i want to see what chad has to say about it though because like dude I mean, how 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 do you think Sam Witwer supposed it's to just, feel, right? Like he, he, he probably a, got excited about it, and then he's he, like, he liked know. it. He he liked the he liked the tweet. I don't know if he that's cool. It anything, but yeah, he liked it. And uh, I mean, let's see the engagement. Yeah, dude, check out this engagement. Almost a million in just a few days. Wow, dude, just from one tweet. Yeah, from a, like, I mean, that's that's crazy. But that's kind of like that's kind of the power of the platform, right? And it's like. Well, yeah, and I'm like, you know, I mean, that many people and obviously want to see that, you know, just from a tweet from a Star Wars fan. It's like, oh, for sure. But then you get some people who just don't want to exit their echo chamber of like, you cannot think, you cannot have your own head cannon. It is not okay. You cannot not accept the fact that the sequels are a thing and they're very real and they're now our canon and they are in this timeline and this is how the story ends. It's like, no, you can't control, you can't dictate how i want to feel or see a story like that right who are you who i know am i to say that about you who are you to say that about me like we're just enjoying a movie for our own um peace in life and relaxation and it's it's rather interesting that um and you know i i i find that it's it's generally the people who are really defending the sequels all the time that get so bent out of shape over anyone yeah. who has a different sort of opinion um, yeah, I can understand where they're coming from in the sense where, you know, they, they kind of put everyone under one umbrella that doesn't like the sequels as being extremely toxic or whatever, because mm-hmm. sure, there are toxic people on both sides, you know, some that are very volatile. Yeah, but that's not everybody. And I feel like I've conducted myself in a pretty level headed way, um, at least for the most part, dude, uh, you're regarding how I feel, you know, yeah. uh, it's, it's like, I've never once been like, F the sequels. If you like the sequels, you're garbage. You're not a true Star Wars fan. It's like, no, I've just been like, oh, okay, hey, best to you, man. Like, I hope you enjoy it even more. It's just not for me. But yeah. for some pe- for some reason, people just get so bent out of shape about it. It's Dude, like, yeah. It was, it's just crazy to me because, like, I, in my opinion, you're literally, like, one of the least controversial YouTubers ever, right? Like, ever, bro. Like, what's yeah. your controversy? What's your, what are your controversies? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there are, and there know, are, yeah. by, Bro, there are YouTubers out there that have controversies that even those people, I'm like, yeah, but that was like five years ago or whatever, or, you know, oh, this is kind of taken out of context or whatever. And it's like, bro, you have none of that. You have none of that. What you have is you were riding with the sequels. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the last Jedi wasn't your thing, but then, you know, you were, you were feeling rise and then you sort of turned and and you had an opinion The, the like all your biggest sin is just being a normal ass dude that likes yeah. star wars and like changing your opinion about star my, wars and my, it, my it sin is off. having uh, uh three million subs is my sin yeah I, that's true I, I got that through clickbait and through being um toxic yeah that yeah. I, I i guess Supposedly. i mean that's probably the narrative that like helps people i guess accept uh you know, being like kind of a, a crap poster or whatever with regards it's to your difference stuff. of opinion. It's totally valid. It's totally fine. You know, whether your opinions are that you like them or you don't like we, this shouldn't be a discussion. It should it should just be like, OK, like. Cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, nah. that's good for you. Like, uh, I'm not changing my opinion, but like in order for me to feel valid about my opinion, our opinions don't have to be the same. Yeah. You know? I agree. I agree. And, you know, I think once upon a time, dude, people would have loved like I think those movies or those games rather were really, really popular. People really liked them. I think once upon a time, dude, people would have absolutely gotten behind, you know, we were, you know, being star killer for for a flick. And I mean, like, I think sort of the vibe that we're on now is especially with 
you know, visions coming out and them getting Ker Blanche to really do some crazy stuff and explore. Dude, why not? Mm. You know, like the what if flavor, right? It's kind of in right now. So like do even if you don't make it canon, like it would kill. You know what I mean? Like it would absolutely kill. Um, and I think it could be something that fans would be really, really happy about. But again, do you think, mm. let me just ask you, like, do you think that once upon a time, like, let's say you would have made this tweet maybe before the last Jedi or something, you think like it's a different yeah. story. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think if, if I was this age during the prequels and Twitter was as prominent as it was, I think, um, it would be a different story. It's a different time. Yeah. But now we're living in a time where, you know, you, you can't have an opinion that's different than another person. And if you do, then, you know, you're a piece of shit. You're you're toxic, you're spreading negativity, or it's, it's such an unfortunate way of thinking. And I, I wish the best for these people. And I hope that they, they do a little bit of deep diving into their own minds, that it's okay to have different opinions, you know, but it's what's not okay is how you go around expressing these opinions. Um, yeah, man. whether it be, you know, uh, in, in a positive manner or a negative manner. So yeah, I agree. I just think it's so wild. Like I watched, you know, I watched a lot of and honestly, man, like it took me it took me a little bit to like not respond to some of these people and like talk about like they're because they're like subtweeting you and stuff like that. And I'm just like, dude, this is so crazy to me. Like, yeah, first of all, who are these people? You know what I mean? But second of all, it's like, ah, dude, like they're just fans. They're, they're just Star Wars fans, you know? Yeah, it's, but like they're nice. just it feels like they're just trying they're just trying to like kind of clown on you or like dunk just to kind of get that that yeah. uh that clout but, man and but it's that's like, oh. that's you know welcome to my life that's how it's that's how it's been for the last five years and um it wasn't like that in the beginning you know so. yeah it's wild you know and i just to trigger everybody in chat too like i was just we were just talking about you know uh the whole you know grace randolph situation and like that's a that's a situation too where like she's getting like dragged through the mud and i think she's way more controversial mm -hmm. than you but like even that like she's a human being like i feel like she's said some crazy stuff in the past but she's been making content for a long long time you know some of the things that she says i don't agree with but like this idea that like this person gets some successful thing or is is recognized in some way and then it's like dude the pitchforks come out bro like sh she's freaking trending right now uh, because people well, were I, I wasn't destroyer. Sure. So she got, yeah, so she got, uh, she got quoted for the Shang-Chi movie. Like, you know how they grab like journalist quotes or whatever and just throw them up there. Like this movie was the rock'em sock'em best thing I've ever seen, you mm -hmm. know, quoted Josh Lucas or whatever. So right. she gets grabbed up for something like that. She just said that Shang-Chi was a phenomenal movie. They grabbed up her uh, quote and put it on like a trailer or something. Mm -hmm. And that was literally enough for people to lose their minds. I can't imagine what it's like being mm -hmm. someone that's just working really hard, you know, speaking your opinion. And yeah, you're not a perfect person, but I think most of us in this space do self-censor. We, we, we're, we have some, you know, not to like a huge degree, but we're not out here whiling. You know what I mean? Like some of us are, but like, that's, that's not what you're doing. That's not what she's doing. And it's just like, people want to grab up every little thing that they've ever said, paint this narrative, create this persona. It's not even them. It's not you. It's not her. It's a persona yeah. that they created. And then they want to take all of their internet anger and hate out on, on, a, on a person. It's crazy. Well, yeah. I mean, psychologically, they, they just, you know, it's just people who are having a very shitty day, unfortunately. And, you know, they see someone that may be in a, in a place of success or, or something or envy or whatever it may be. And they, they throw all the hatred towards um, them that they have in their life or whatever. And that's just the way it is. And, and you know, you got to be you got to be man enough to take it. Yeah, no, and, I agree. And, and realize that these people are just hurting on the inside of whatever it is that they're going through. And that's fine. You know, mm -hmm. I, I just try to have some fun with it. And um, in, in, the, in the past, I would get more uh, bent out of shape. But, uh, you know, as the years go by, I'm just. You just get used to it. I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. It's like I, I'm trying to get to that point. It's obviously like at a much smaller scale for me. But like I, it seems like every time I just open my mouth about like something like that, I that I feel that's sort of outside of the purview of like the that sort of idea people have uh, for me. Mm -hmm. It like it's just there's a lot of resistance out there. And I think it's sort of a, a sign of the times, you know, it's a sign of the way social media right. has made this communication happen. Um, but I do think, you know, with like podcasts and like the ability to have like a conversation like this, 
I think it's important for people to hear. Like, look, in my opinion, that is just it's just not cool. And if I I don't think it's necessarily cool for me to like engage with all that and be super toxic in return on social. Yeah. Right. Cause that's why I like, well, when I saw people talking about you, I was like, Oh man, I kind of want to say something, but I'm like, you know, hands off and the same thing with like grace or whatever. But like, l- like, let me just say it again for the people. Who right, don't back, get involved like, in that. It's, it, it's just, it's I not think it's problem. not cool. And I think it, it, it leaves us in a worse place if we continue to, to do that. You know what I mean? But it's kind of par for the course, I guess, you know, so. It is what it is, man. Yeah. Anyways, on to today's news, and uh, we're going to be getting to the Super Chats uh, in a minute here. Uh, so I'll try to bring them up on screen as always, but if I don't get to them, uh, I'm sorry about that, but I will do my best and uh, read them You know, when we have a bit of a slow time in the, in the yeah. podcast. So, Josh, take it away. Apparently, we've got a, a fin. Yeah, job. let me uh, let me pull rumor? this up. I'll sort of share this, this little rumor. And uh, I thought it was pretty funny, man, because uh, I did a video on this. And then our buddy, the Knights <laughs> of freaking Melvin, you know what I mean? Hail got Melvin. Me. Yeah, hail Come Melvin. Night. Subscribe. Hey, he- he got the me, nice man. Melvin. He got me. The, he covered a Dennis Schill video. And if you guys want to do me a favor, go subscribe to the Dennis Schills and the Dennis Schills Live. Uh, and yeah, basically, here's a report talking about how a Finn prequel slash sequel Star Wars series is in the works for Disney Plus. And they're talking about how there's John Boyega and he's attached to an upcoming Disney Plus series. Now, this had... Uh, I don't know. Do you remember this when they announced that Matt Owens and JD, uh, JD Dillard were doing a Star Wars movie? No, like it was, it's like a, a couple dudes that they just randomly announced were doing a Star Wars movie. I remember when that story broke and I was like, uh, what the heck? Like, I haven't heard anything about that, haven't heard what that was about, but apparently that story was real. But now they're real, they're retooling that movie and it's all about Finn and it's a Disney Plus series for Finn. Now, they're talking about how plot details are pretty light on it, but the the thing that they're hearing right now is that in the pitch, when they pitched it to John, the idea was you're going to have a little bit of a prequel uh, thing, so it'll go back and talk about his Stormtrooper stuff, and then parts of the show will take place post-Episode 9 with Finn in the future doing his thing, and I made a video about this and people lost their minds because this means if this happens that they're not going to retcon the sequel trilogy and that just is unacceptable. That was never going to happen anyways. But you yeah. know, regarding this show, I have zero interest in it. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I think Finn was an extremely underutilized character. They effed it up. They completely botched his character and his potential. And uh, now they're trying to make up for it, I think. Yeah. Well, it's okay, too so- late. Yeah, it could. I mean, look, I understand that. And I actually anticipated that that's probably how you would feel. But I tell you, there's a couple of different reasons why I think this could actually be cool. I mean, I think Finn was an underutilized character. And I think there was a lot left out for his character. I mean, he has the same arc pretty much three movies in a row, right? They do a little bit of interesting stuff in the third film, but they don't really go there with it. They still make him just yell Ray all the time. It's kind of freaking lame, Uh, right? They ruin, yeah. Yeah. Uh, No wonder John Boyega was so pissed off. Well, that's the thing, right? So he's really upset. Remember, he sort of makes this statement and there's like tension between him and Disney and then Disney and him sort of sit down and sort of iron it out. And then what it seems like is it seems like that behind the scenes he and disney had a discussion and they were pretty much like well what if we did a finn show sort of the right way and to me like bringing these two dudes on and doing it like that it it very clearly feels like they Look, were they're an attempt to do it differently you know what i mean and to sort of fix that problem they can make any show cool you, you can tell me uh, uh, about it they're gonna do a ray show and i can i can do a million different ways that they could make it cool yeah, but do I care anymore? And that's the problem. Well, dude, that's I totally issue. agree. Yeah, 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 for sure. But here's the deal: is like I think the only way Disney moves forward with sequel stuff is they honestly just have to make fire content. Like they have to make they have to make content that's so good that like people like you and people that are even more extreme because there's people like you know that it would never ever touch that kind of show they need to make content so good 
that it essentially is something that people just get kind of put in front of them over and over again. And it's like, oh, you got to check this out. And then when some of those people back, I mean, what's the alternative? You know what I mean? Like, unless they want to try to completely ignore and sort of walk around the sequels, I think it's inevitable that they would want to do something with some of those characters. And is there a better character to do it with from the sequels that's still alive? You know what I, I mean? Know. I, I feel like I'm still pissed off at the whole thing. And, and you know, unfortunately, today's t- podcast is going to be talking about, you know, the sequels. But yeah, um, I'm just like, like that whole time when I I was so hyped for when the sequels were coming out, I was like, OK, like they made seven. I saw seven. I thought it was just not good. And then it kind of grew on me. I'm like, OK, I accept it. And then they made eight. And I was just trying to make as much sense of it as i could because i didn't believe that there was you know no plan going into anything yeah and then they made nine and it retconned so much of eight that i was so happy because of the luke scenes yeah and i was trying to make so much sense of the whole thing like okay you know all the jedi were giving their power to ray so really technically it was anakin but then the the more that i thought about i'm like no they yeah it's silly they didn't like she yeeted palpatine who was supposed to be technically more strong than he has ever been yeah and killed him with his own same attack that he fell to in revenge of the Sith. like this is such a joke like he could have snapped their necks in two seconds with the force yeah yeah it's a headache it's I a just, it's... i just don't even care anymore i'm just like this is like i if a ratio came out i just don't even i don't wouldn't care to watch it cover it um there would have to be something super alluring for me to be invested in a show like that like yeah uh, i don't know like but that's why i think john is the perfect one because like i think you're right like if they were to go with ray which maybe they would have honestly like i feel like disney thought ray was gonna nail it and everybody was gonna yeah. love ray which by the way george thought jar jar was gonna nail it right uh i love jar jar but a lot of people don't so you know they thought ray was gonna be the one she's obviously not I think the best option is for them to do something with Finn and they can they can make it like they can sort of fill in the gaps of what's going on post rise. And I would just shelve Ray like I would basically like make Ray like she vanished or she went and did her own thing. We're not sure where she's at. We're not sure what she's doing. You know what I mean? I think that's a good way to go about it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think even the fans of like the sequels like they love Ray like a lot of people love Ray. But I think people liked other characters more. I think people liked Kylo more. I think people like Finn more. Oscar Isaac's Poe was great, you know? So I think there's room for them to do something interesting with John's character that could set us. Because honestly, to me, it's not so much about the Finn show, even though I think it could be dope. It's about setting the stage for what's to come past that. You know what I mean? Because I want to see what happens in the story like i don't want the, ta- the i don't want the story to end you know and i don't want sagas to go away you know i don't want the episodic films to go away i want to continue yeah. that journey and like even as someone that really didn't like the sequels like i am somewhere where there's so much about the sequels that i find to be decent and acceptable that like i you know what i like even less than the sequels is the idea of that whole time period just completely wasting our time as star wars fans like it honest to goodness if they were to retcon i think it would be the dumbest decision ever made and it just it would completely like that how are you supposed to trust like you know what i mean like i know a lot of people are already at that point but there's a whole group of people that even though you know they have their problems with the sequels like i'm not like a hater of them you know what i mean like i just think they really missed their shot i'm not a hater of them i i i I was super hyped for them when they were coming out i mean who wasn't hyped for the last jedi with you know yeah. before it actually was released and i just can't support something that is straying so far from the creator's idea mm. that even he wouldn't show up to the premieres yeah no bro you and, and 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 i know people that know him i know people yeah. who are close to him and i know for a fact well at least from what they've said he thinks they're a joke Bro, they ain't. <laughs> yeah, he, he was not. Them. He was. They're not, not part of his story. That. There no, was a kid who who sent a letter into Lucasfilm, um, or no, not Lucasfilm, to George's personal personal assistant. This is on Reddit. You can find it. Um, this was just recent too, I believe. And 
he was talking, the kid was talking about something to do with the sequels or whatever. And George's assistant wrote back. Yeah. And was officially signed and everything. And she said, um, George feels he told the story in one to six. And that's that. Yeah. And so for me, that's good enough. That's, you know, that's yeah. where I want to end the story. Now, if we go beyond that, I can see it as fan fiction, sure. But I yeah, recognize yeah. that it is the canon of today. It is the story that is going forwards. But in my mind, those aren't that's not how my characters ended. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I uh and I totally understand that. I mean, look, there's you know, just different strokes for different folks. Mm. I personally think that like even the people that didn't like the prequels still wanted to see more of the wider tapestry of Star Wars. Like, I don't right. think the prequels were so egregious to people. And like one of our mutual friends, like Star Wars Santa, right? Like he hates the prequels, right? But he still accepts well, them as canon. And them. like, oh yeah, he hates them. Uh, and he lo- but he accepts and loves like Star Wars as a whole and like the <laughs> whole story. And I think, like, honestly, like, we could get to the point where we'd be like, yeah, dude, the sequels were a pretty messy part. But it's almost like it could be like that bad season of a television show, right? Like, where you're like, oh, no, I love this show. But season, like, for me, it's like, well, actually, with Game of Thrones, there were a couple of terrible seasons. But, like, that could be the way we look at it, where we're like, that was a terrible season, but I still want to follow the characters. Like, I still want to follow the galaxy, like don't you want to know like what would happen in a galaxy that's truly bereft of all the Sith and all the Skywalkers like Skywalkers are gone. The Sith is gone, but there's still plenty of other interesting things and people in the galaxy. Like what's going to happen next? You know what I mean? I actually think in a post rise of Skywalker world, things would not be as plushy as you think. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like what grief Karga said or no, not grief Karga. Uh, the homie uh, in Mando season one, where he like says, if you look around, I see disorder, chaos, all of these things. Like, is this truly better than the empire? You know what I mean? And you could make that argument with even the first order and, and, you know, things like that. So I don't know. There's, I still think there's a lot of fun to be had. I think, I think Finn is the perfect character to take us into that because especially if they're going to shelf Ray, he is force sensitive. He's, he's literally trained under Ray. Yeah, yes, they're, they're, they're going to do what, what people wanted to be done in the beginning, or what they teased, what they clickbaited in the beginning. Right, right, exactly. And then, come on. Become a Jedi? I don't know. For me, I'm I'm just... What's happening here? Is a glitch in the Matrix? You there? His face whenever he says... You there? Wait, what? Am I? Was I glitched out? Yeah, yeah, you were glitching out. What? Was that just what? me, or did you guys see that too? I don't know. Might have been right, the... and and you know it, it would be you know from a content creating standpoint, it would be so much more lucrative if I was you know excited about it and I was like, oh yeah, this is freaking amazing! What this is this and this is gonna happen? But I'm kind of over it, dude. Like I I'm kind of over trying to make this like like trying to make sense of this. And yeah. I did that for like five years with the sequels, and in the end, it was just there's nothing really to make sense of anymore. You know, whenever yeah. when the actors themselves are like, yeah, and, and, and Mark Hamill himself is disappointed. It's like, what am I going to say? And, yeah. You know, and and I feel like the, the problem or the not pressure, but the issue for me is that people hold me at this standard because I have so many subscribers that whatever I say is how it's going to be. And I'm advocating this sort of mindset. It's like I'm not like like I'm I'm a Star Wars fan. Do you guys want me to be real? Do you want me to fake it? Yeah. Do you want me to just make money? Because I can I can fake it. I can do my best. Yeah. I can come in tomorrow and be super excited and be like, just there's a whole demographic of sequels that I'm of sequel fans that I'm not really adhering to because I just don't really cover them and talk about them. Yeah. I'm I'm giving you guys myself. I'm being as honest and real as I can be, but I I just feel like, um, you know, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. It's like, Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I guess for me, like, I think regardless of what sequel trilogy character it was going to be, like, I think at this point, Disney has to be super aware of just how bad it really is. Because I think maybe right up until Rise, they might have been like, hey, maybe the last Jedi I hate's not that bad, or maybe we're doing okay. But like, you can just see it in what they're doing with the changes to merchandising. You can just see it. Like, they understand. They're like, oh, this ain't selling. 
this ain't working. We're doing this, that, second, and the third. I mean, they're recreating Heir to the Empire, you know, for goodness sakes. It really does feel like they're so, aware. Yeah. Yeah. So they're aware of it. So with that in mind, they also have to be aware that whatever sequel trilogy stuff they do, it has to kill bro like this thing this has to be like the first matrix movie or like season one of westworld or something like this thing has to be the best thing ever because people are going to be primed to not like it you know what i mean right. and i just right. think in that and that's that's okay you know and by the way i said too and you know and all uh, shout out to knights of melbourne but i was kind of saying that like in the comments of the video i did covering this i saw so many people saying like nothing sequels because unless we continue to let disney know that we want it like retcon and we're not interested in that then like they won't know and to a degree i agree that's fair you gotta have your voice out there to be heard but i'm a fan no, too they're not retconning this they're not no one dude they're disney not gonna, never retcon, gonna the retcon the sequels like what no they're not dude, they're never gonna retcon the sequels that's so yeah, that's not, such that's a crazy idea yeah. right but like for me i feel like as a fan as well i need to voice my opinion and be like yeah Sequels were pretty trash, but Finn was all right. And I want to see a lightsaber in that man's hand. I want to see what they can do with that dude. Uh, put him forward a little bit. You know, give him some gusto. Like, he's kind of a cool character. John Josh, Wayne has some swag, it's, man. It's like, you ever been in a relationship where you, you constantly expect something and you keep getting lied to, let's say? Yes. And then it, you, you, they keep saying, I'll change. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, finally, at the, in the end, you just, you just, I don't care anymore. Oh no, I totally agree with you. I think that for so a lot of, well, dude, for a, I think a lot of fans feel that. I think a lot of fans feel that. I think in this, I also said this in my video. I said I think Star Wars as a brand is in a much more precarious spot than people realize. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm excited about the future, but the brand strength is low dude the brand strength is low and there are a few mess ups a few big mess ups away from really losing a lot of the um for the star wars brand so like they're kind of in a fight for their lives in some ways i think they're, they're and, never gonna lose it but but uh, they, dude, they, i think they could i think no, they could no i don't think they'll if ever they, lose it because they made they, a few they, more big mistakes bro i'm telling you there's a lot of people on the edge right now and I think that if they if they just did a few more things that were considered pretty egregious by the fan base, like that's you're looking at like a diminished brand, like a, a highly. Yeah, you know, that, and the Kenobi show is going to be extremely sensitive and I'm going to be probably the most uh, critical of that show of any Star Wars thing that's ever come out. That's true. Yeah, that's totally fair. They got a lot of pressure on that. I think all their stuff has a lot of pressure on it, to be honest with you. Not but really. um, they just they just need to hire competent writers that know the story. That's all. And and not I, and not I writers think... who want to rewrite it. Yeah, but you also need a little bit of swagger and newness. It's a very fine balance because you can't just have the like it's almost like JJ's Force Awakens and JJ's Rise you know are so contrived in repeating of of themes and things right and then ryan's is like just so far out there and so away from everything that we find familiar it's like they needed to do the fusion dance mm. because i think you need a little bit of that newness we don't want to just watch like i don't want to just watch a nostalgia factory you know what i mean like i can't do that i want new stuff yeah. i want star wars to grow and expand which is why vision seems so dope to me but you do need to capture those feelings that that just that it's that brand it's that like just classic star wars feeling one of the greatest cinema experiences and franchises of all time that feeling john williams music the, the swell the score and the, the scrolling text like dude there's just so much goodness and familiarity with that kind of stuff but you also need to give fans what they didn't know they wanted. And I think fans like I was just talking to my girlfriend about this, actually, because we were she she hasn't seen the sequels, actually. And she's like, I want to watch them. And I'm like, I don't know about that, you know. But one thing I'll say is that The Last Jedi is a few hard changes away from being phenomenal. Like if he had had just anybody in his orbit that kept him on rails, like no to the luke stuff he did no he to did. the canto bicep well okay. i mean somebody that would actually well that's what i mean though kathy allowed him to plow everybody over bro she gave him the writer director thing and his production company was involved he wasn't he wasn't really told no bro you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like if she had done like what kevin feige would do 
and basically sit you down and be like, you know, you're great. You're the great Edgar Wright or you're the great whomever. But I'm Kevin Feige and this is the MCU. So you're going to play ball. You're going to get the fuck out of here. Like that's what yeah. she could have done that, bro. Like she could have done that. And well, instead, she did, I don't think she really understands what she's doing when it comes to Star Wars. But then, she's a good you know, producer, but she doesn't. Well, I agree with you. I agree with you that she's a great producer. And I think in the example of Ryan, she fell in love with her own producer like feelings, right? Where she's like, oh, this is fresh. This is different, but it's still Star Wars. This is exactly what the franchise needs. And she wasn't able to put on her president hat and be like, this is cherished IP that's 40 years old. Certain fans are not going to accept this. It's like she fell in love with the producer angle and she didn't realize like you're handling IP, you know, you don't have to adhere to certain fans. I, I like, I don't, I don't think they should have gone into it being like, we need to think about the fans. We need like, even Mark Hamill said, we need to think about the fans. It's like, we don't, we don't, we need to think about the story, which is what Ryan said, mm -hmm. but what freaking story, like a story yeah. that is still connecting to you, you got like the Lego pieces. You got to have this piece connect to the other one. That's like, it just, this doesn't make sense. Yeah. It, it doesn't fit. So then when they had Finn in there and it was just this dude, and, and you know everything he said about Disney. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like you treat him like that. You do that to his character. Mm -hmm. You just clickbait us in thinking that he's going to be the Jedi. Yeah. And then he becomes this blubbering dude who just screams Ray all the time and it doesn't do anything. And then in the end, you want to give him force powers. It's like what i know dude i know yeah it's it's a it's a it's a tough situation um but again i just remain i remain open to it like i want to like them i really it would be want so to different like for them. me I dude really it would be so like different if it was a ray thing i would be right with you i'd be like Psh, what are they thinking bro you know what i mean like i'd be like legit what are they thinking even a poe series i would be like really poe you know but dude, John is the one that has the most juice yeah, to yeah, tell. Dude, John's Finn, the a one. Finn story you know? would be the only sequel sort of thing that I would be more inclined to watch than any other sequel thing. Yeah, so I think that's, I think that's the heart of it. You know what I mean? I think that's why they're going with John. And uh, you know what I would do, honestly, man, is like, dude, he gets like very monk like at the end of mm -hmm. Rise. Like he's like in this very like monk like state. And like, I'd love to see the juxtaposition of like a wiser sort of older Jedi Finn. Like I say, age him all the way up, bro. You know what I mean? Like give him gray in the beard, gray in the hair, make him like, you know, maybe have one eye or something like he's seen some crap or something. You know what I mean? And like, just give me like that, that Finn get like, make him just be whooping up people around the I, I understand i understand what you're saying but it's like you don't have to you don't have to make a character blind or like make him scarred up in order to say like oh this guy's been through some shit i feel like sure. i feel like you just need to have good storytelling like that's that's it and you know have them have a compelling arc you know it, right. the, the arc has to go like this it can't just be like ray being an aim bot the whole movie finn just being ray the whole time yeah. freaking out always and that's it like where where is the character art they just all keep getting promoted but no one ever really does anything like well finn's arc is horrible bro like his arc makes no, no sense arc. like he he like finds the courage to stand up like to the to a like a trained force user lands a blow on kylo ren like that should have i know yeah uh ryan took that script and then was like, yeah, let's make him a lackey and then we'll team him up with this rando girl and send them to Canto Bite. Like, I honestly can't understand that. You know what I mean? Like, like Finn is Finn should have been picked up after that film. And like, there's just so much. Yeah, you know? there's just so much cooler stuff that they could have done with them. But I think that uh, Luke could have he could have been on Octu and he could have been like, I sent someone else with you and she would have been like who and yeah he's like he's like who's who's in that falcon there and then yeah. shoot and then you know cut to finn walking up the steps or something i don't know yeah yeah i mean there's, and then there's him just training like finn of, too yeah man i just I, for me personally i'm still just like i'm i'm optimistic about 
that kind of a show and especially if it comes out and it just slaps because you, the other side of this too bro is it's disney plus right which at first remember we all thought was a negative thing even john himself said you're not going to disney plus me you know and he probably yeah, got a call he, from until Oscar. Until he sees the contract or whatever, and then he's like, "Well, yeah, okay. they probably backed the money truck up." But also, I think uh, Oscar Isaac might have called him and been like, "Hey, I'm doing this Moon Knight show. This is fantastic, bro. You would love doing this. You know what I mean?" And like, look, because as an actor too, it's not always just about the money. It's about how do I like the craft, right? You look at Tom Hiddleston. He's a producer on Loki, and bro, he cut that he cut that whole show up like whether or not you love the pacing or whatever you got to admit the acting in that as a character study was tremendous yeah. so as a, an actor that's something you look for you like a challenge you want to pull out these different notes and especially when you play the same arc over and over again and you're hella frustrated it would be fantastic to see this dude with a disney plus show with that attention to detail that new technology that new team maybe even more of dave's purview over it i just feel like there's a lot of things to potentially nudge us over to the side of like you know what maybe i you know that maybe that could be all right you know yeah. Yeah, or maybe I'm well, just den of shills. You know what I mean? I would hope so. The den of shills. Yeah. Shout out to. Uh, shout, shout out to boy. movie bros. That's my boy, the Knights of Melvin. Hey, where's the video, Knights of buddy? Melvin? Yeah, he did a. He where did is a, it? No, it's that one. It's that. Yeah, it's it that is one. it. Yep. Yep. It's oh, okay. One. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yep. Right. Yep. And I did a little reaction video on my or a, a rebuttal should we, video. Should we watch it? It's not okay. bad. It's not bad. Like, it's pretty funny. Um, big shout out to our channel, Movie Bros. We're going to be doing another live stream tomorrow night. Or actually, maybe we'll be doing just a, a reaction, uh, um, review of yeah. a movie. Did you watch that movie? I did watch. I loved it. Oh, you watched it? My cousin Vinny? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it? it. I loved okay, it. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's record something tomorrow then. Yeah, I'm excited, dude. I'm excited. Just no, that'll be good because we'll, yeah, we'll talk about it a little bit before and then we'll go live and talk about it. Um, and then you and I can kind of brainstorm about some stuff too, because I, I saw some people reached out to me on like some things we could talk about on like every movie. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe we talk about this thing, we talk about this aspect and then we talk about this right. aspect. One of the things I thought right away that would be kind of hilarious is we both decide what kind of a bruh to give the movie. So like if we love it, we're like, bro, or if like we oh. think it's like whatever, we're like, bro, you know, or we're like, bro, you know, like different like bros mm. as a way no, to let's, uh, let's, let's do like a rating system, like a like a like five bros, you know, I like, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. I might still do mine kind of funny and be like, bruh, bruh, yeah, bruh. Yeah. but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but that's what I mean is like having like a uh, a thing we go over for each film. I we think we got to do a watch party of the human centipede or something. Ugh. Just horrible. God. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks to everybody who's subscribing on this channel. You guys have been, I've, you know, I made a few channels and I've never had one that had this much positive engagement right off the bat. I mean, 12,000 subscribers. Yeah, man. Freaking 12,000 views for a, a, a an hour, 50 minute watch party. Like, yeah, these numbers don't happen for me and Josh on just, you know, smaller Dude, channels that we have. Yeah, it's awesome. And honestly, the more... Um, like the more that you guys like kind of engage with it and like keep it going, like, dude, especially like if we watch the movie separately, I have no problem doing two a week. You know what I mean? Like if we just want to sit yeah. down and even knock a couple out because we, we know the movies and we're ready to go. Like yeah. we will we will do more content if you guys are really, really into it. So it seems like they are, man. I've never yeah. had a channel grow that fast. Yeah, it's pretty That's sick, crazy. Huh? It's yeah. Two videos. What the hell? Like it's a cool concept. Yeah, something I've wanted yeah. to do for a long time, and I think people really love our um, um, bro chemistry. Yeah, our bro chemistry. Bro. Um, I have a suggestion for movie bros. It's called Food Night. You can find the food thing on YouTube for free. You can find the whole thing. Oh, what? It's the worst, it's the movie, worst movie ever, movie. but it's kind of funny. Oh, Food Fight? Okay. Yeah. I was, th I was thinking he's... He wants a food night where we just order like. That's what I thought. I thought it might have been some service. I was like, "Is this some kind of pitch?" Like, a <laughs> right, 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 be down, man. Cool. Yeah. 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 First uh, song during the last scene in the Bad Batch when Nalase arrived at Mount Tansa is called Lama Sue in the soundtrack. Any idea what why that is? Loving the streams. Hmm. Hmm, who knows? Well, he was the prime minister, so. Right. Maybe it was just his theme. 
or it's like to honor him or whatever. You know what I mean? Maybe, unless Maybe. he cloned himself, Maybe. and that and that Lama Su that we saw was just a clone. Dude, that would be fantastic. That would be actually really cool if they did something like that. Yeah, I'd be into that. Dude, the room's hilarious. Yeah. So, sometimes watching those I, I, bad I met, movies I met is him. fun. I met Tommy. You met him. Yeah. You met Tommy Wiseau or w- yeah. Wiseau? Yeah, yeah. I, got a, I got a picture with him. Yeah, that's amazing. That's perfect. Yeah, he's a funny guy. I was standing in line at uh, L.A. Comic Con and just to take a photo with him, and he didn't charge for a photo. Nothing. Wow. And um, there was go, a girl oh, in front hi, of me. Theory. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. That was before my face reveal. And not that he would even know, but um, there was a girl in front of me and she went to take a photo with him. And then he like looks at me and I'm just standing there. And he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, ha, ha. is this your boyfriend? Boyfriend? I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 no. And she's like, she's like, no, no. I'm like, he's like, no, come on, come on. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know her. He's, he's like, come on. His, his so boyfriend. you took a picture with her? <laughs> um, no, I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept reclining. And then she left. And I was like, hey, Tommy. He's like, he's like, oh, hi. I was like, I love your movie. He's like, he's like, thank you. He's like, thanks, man. Dude, that's sick. Let me take a Yo, photo do you mind movie. if I uh, plug that we're going to react to the uh, Spider-Man trailer? Yeah, plug away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, tonight the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer is coming out. And after we get off Nerd Theory, Theory and I are going to record a video reacting to it. I'm going to throw it up on the Den of Nerds ASAP because you got to get in there for them views on that reaction. So, uh, I think it's going to be dope, man. I, I, the... I'm really interested to know what you think of this trailer and just kind of where your hype level is at for like, you know, Spider-Man and, and all the things that you kind of think are going on or whatever. So I think it's gonna be a good time, man. I'm excited to, uh, to do that reaction to you. It's it's mm-hmm. with you. It's going to be fun. I see a bunch of people talking about it on the, uh, in the chat. Sam Weber speak about the bad batch and Omega on Vic's basement podcast. No, no. What did he say about it? Was he just not down or something? He's Vic's basement. Let me try to find this. Yeah, I don't know. I've heard some things about that, though. I don't know. I, I can't prove any of this, but some people were saying what? that. What do you like, hear? What do you mean? This is the first time I'm hearing about this. All I heard was that Dave might not have been as involved with this show, pretty much. that he Because he didn't even write on the last several episodes, and he normally does for uh, for finales and big things like that. So it is possible that he may have been taken away found it and a sound designer and i don't know so 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 what what star wars is now turning me around i always wanted the stormtroopers to be clones i thought you know but now and and it's i think that was george lucas's original idea but it's hard to say he's he's gone back and forth on it and so now that they're providing some really interesting story material about like what's happening to the clones, are they being phased Wait, out? Wait, is this it? Oh, yeah, this is Vic's basement, right? This I'm is it. This is a long podcast. Do they know like what are they exactly talking about? Is there a timestamp that, that uh, awesome the contest get around? Let me see. Huh? Let me see on Google. Thing was interesting. I was like, this is a guy who did Order sixty six, but he's not okay with what's happening you know um yeah i don't know so 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 oh wait 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 so he did order 66 huh well i guess there's our answer well i guess you guys can go and check out vic's basement uh, i'm gonna be watching this podcast later yeah i'm not that's sure fun. What... that's cool that's kind of fun yeah Little Star Wars and I was such a I was so starstruck when I met him, man. I introduced myself as Star Wars Theory. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I was, I was just like, ah, ah. He's like sitting right in front of me on the plane. I'm like, I'm sorry to bother you, but are you Sam Weaver? He's like, I am. I was like, shit. That's totally the way he would say it too. I am. Yeah. Yo, apparently he's a big D D player. I'd love to play Dungeons and Dragons with that dude. Yeah, apparently. I'm sure he's phenomenal at making all the voices and doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He's got a cool voice. He's a great actor, too. Yeah. 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 He seems like a genuine dude, man. I just want to see Mark's opinion. Yeah. I was talking to Mark earlier. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I was texting with the lad we're, a little. We're going to be getting our final, uh, final 
model of our saber. So it's coming along. Make sure you do a fin Jedi fin model for me. <laughs> Have you seen this? What is that? The new comic. What's that? Where Lando Lando says beat his ass, Chewbacca. What? Yeah. Language. Yeah. It's weird. I don't feel like that would be in a Star Wars comic. Captain My buddy America sent it to me. He's like, he's like who's cool. writing these now? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Bunch of people with no respect. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, he said it in the in in post said it in Rise of Skywalker. So I, you know, I guess it's you know, yeah. his ass is canon Star Wars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's from the new Battle of Bounty Hunters comic. Okay, I just feel like it's I, not very fitting. I mean, I've heard that's kind of a fun run or whatever. They're doing some fun stuff. Uh, oh wow! Uh, just got a Thoughts really the interesting photo project. I got a really interesting question. Oh yeah, what is it? Uh, well, I just got a, a thing. Somebody sent me some. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. Some, somebody literally just sent me documentation proving that they'll never retcon the sequels, but I can't. It's, yeah, it's, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. that they would. Yeah, I know, but there's people, bro. I can't believe how many people are out there to think that's a thing. It's wild. Beat his ass, Chewbacca. <laughs> Beat his ass. It's probably <laughs> Pablo. Pablo was probably putting that in there. Uh, he did Star Wars Dungeons and Dragons on Freddy Pins Jr.'s channel with the Rebel cast. Cool. What? Okay. I'm going to have to look yes, that up. Yes, video, bro. You know you didn't need to wear a bold cap. Yes. Yes. But Palpatine's not bald. He's got hair on the sides. Yeah. Duh, Ditcher's Universe. Probably one of those people, man. Jeez. Duh. Okay, let's bring up some soups. I'm yeah, my do it. What do the people say? I, I saw some people, you know, I you know, there people have different opinions about it. It's kind of kind of interesting. What? Well, just in the chat, like I saw some people being like, uh, "Yeah, what? I'd love I'd love a Finn show." Some people are like, "No freaking way!" You know what I mean? So it seems dude, like, yeah, if it makes people happy, great. I'm just not stoked for it. But yeah, 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 yeah obviously, yeah, there's yeah, a huge yeah. amount of people who like the sequels, and there's a huge amount of people who don't like the sequel so it's like to each their own you know you you go to a buffet and you're not gonna eat everything oh man have you ever tried no i've tried I like a gold I, I can put something. food away but i'm not i'm not a competitive eater we'll have to do a uh, a vlog when we go to start celebration yeah, yeah we'll just be like who can eat the most at the at the <laughs> yeah it'd probably be True. Fall Jester says, I thought John Boyega was done with Star Wars. Well, you thought wrong. Maybe. Okay, let me see if I can. Uh... <clears throat> Kalisto pointed out that Andor apparently wraps filming. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I was going to make a video on it, but um, the, the guys who were doing my ceiling for the stars, they just left today around like 1230-ish. And uh, I haven't slept in three days. What? Yeah, I've been letting them. Well, I've been letting them in my my house at like eight a.m. every day, and I sleep at like four. So, and, right. they, and they've been staying. They've been they did it in two days, man. They flew out from Toronto, and they did it in two days. Whoa! They came you on the first day sleep, to check bro. it out, and yeah, dude, I look I look like I feel like garbage. I haven't worked out in like three four days. I'm like, dang, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Maybe, you gotta maybe get, maybe get five out there. days. You yeah, so. Out. I'm gonna do the reaction with you, and then I'm gonna eat some food. Then I'm probably gonna stream the game or something, or just yeah, die. Okay, so here are the soups. Yeah. Um, you should react to Corridor Crew's remake of the Death Star trench scene. It's so good. Oh, did they make a new one? I don't know. Oh no, Josh. About that. Um. Do you think so. future Star Wars projects should con no I was reading a super chat but I already oh, read okay. it. I'm gonna put this on the main screen because this is too this is too uh Inception. Inception. It's a super chat Inception. Do 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 and then let's see if I can get a chat up here too, and that way we can have it. There you go. Boom. Okay. All right. 
You had made Sam Witt with a man who never ages. Uh, not watching a Finn spinoff. I don't think anyone will. I'm sure a lot of people will, but I don't think it'll be as high in the numbers as, you know, Mandalorian or um, Kenobi, let's say. Darth yeah. Melvin called Josh a weenie. <laughs> Only the same. Yo, you yeah. guys gotta see the video I did. It's a really good response video. It's funny. Are we? Come on. But yeah, he did call me a weenie. He's called me much worse. Yeah. I'm in his Discord, man. I, I, I talk to all of them. Yeah, I mean, I can nice. tell it was. Like yeah, honestly, even the weenie thing, it was like a SpongeBob meme. And it was like actually well done. Like I wasn't even mad. Like I thought it was hilarious. You know what I mean? Oh man. Yeah. Melvin's one of us, dude. Yeah, he's he seems like good people. I was happy to shout him out for sure. Also, being non toxic is the new toxicity due to it becoming more rare. People will like what they like. Why is this an issue if it doesn't harm anyone? But it's also sad. Sadly gets likes too, encouraging it more. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. It's the price you pay for being a YouTuber. Yeah. What's up, bros? Hulk Ruffalo here on a different account. Love the show and keep up the fantastic. Hey, man, what's going on? Jack Watt. So, so Slave One is now called Fire Spray. Is it? Did they I don't think that's official. I, I know that a lot of people, <clears throat> IGN ran an article about it, <clears throat> and I know some other people were talking about it, but I don't think it's official. Mm. I think the, 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 the Bounty Hunter War comic referred to it as the Fire Spray. But it is the fire spray. It's fire spray 31, right? That's the model. So right. I don't see that. Like, I need more. I need more. You know, before I get my pitch for it, I need more. <laughs> we all have those. We're Star Wars fans. Yep. What if it, Mace had been the Jedi that showed up in the Mando season two finale to be a badass and save the day instead of Luke? Which would you have preferred? Luke. I feel like I got we got this question before, and maybe it was in one of my videos. But uh, yeah, I I think they're good in different ways. Like the Luke thing played to people's sort of nostalgia and fans that were upset with Luke in the sequels. Yeah. But I think you know if you would have had Mace, that would have opened up some doors as well. So that could have been very cool. But... I think it would have opened up more questions. Like why was he not there during the whole time? It would open up a lot what of the questions. Hell was he but, doing? He yeah. would be the first one to be back. You know, well unless he went to the dark side. Yeah, but then he would be like Maul and he'd want to just take them out because he hated Palpatine anyway. And Anakin. Dude, imagine if the way the season finale ended with Mace slaughtering them all. Just go out ham. With that would have been amazing. Mother. <laughs> right? I'm not a fan of the sequels at all. However, I would love for the story to continue. The sequels exist. Might as well build upon them in a way that would improve the story. I'm here for a Finn series. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. I appreciate it. Depends how they do it, man. Like like Finn is the only character of the Finn and Kylo are the only characters of the sequels that I care about. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because of the way that they portrayed them. You know? Oh, they were, and it's still they were at least be slightly lit. more interesting than the other ones. Like, dude, don't get me wrong. It's still gotta be lit. If it comes out and this dude's yell if I hear one ray out of his mouth, you know what I mean? Like it's it's over for me. Dude, so. the first thing is gonna be him waking up from a bad dream. Ray! <laughs> like sweating, beads of sweat, and he's just like Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. And yeah. quoted by newfound famous gambler in the galaxy far, far away. This is America. I hate the idea that having a different opinion is unacceptable as much, if not more, than you. I love the sequels, prequels, and originals. KOTOR is still my favorite Star Wars game story. Fans just need to be civil to each other. Let people enjoy things. Yeah, I agree. I agree. As long as you're civil, you should be able, you should be able to get your point across without being snarky, rude, or um, angry. You know? I agree. It goes on both sides. Why don't you give the sequels another chance? You might like them. Oof. You know, we'll probably watch them on Movie Bros. Yeah. Probably watch them again, and uh, you can see my reaction on the second round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen Unreal Cinema's remake of Kotor? It would be cool to make more Kotor stuff and hear your thoughts on it. Um, I have seen some of his stuff. Yeah, he's very talented. Yeah. Um, I think his... His channel isn't Unreal Cinema. It's... Uh... 
cinematic captures, isn't it? I'm actually not sure. Not 100% on that. Like, why don't people accept the sequels as canon? They don't have to like it, but accept it. Um, I do accept it. I accept that it's canon, but not up here. Right. Like, in my head, I'm not like, you know, um, okay, Luke, you know, ended up like this and this and this. In my head, I, I, Luke ended smiling at that tree and walked away to his friends. That's how Luke ended. Mm. And then if I want to take it a step for, further... I go heir to the empire. Right. Well, that's the thing. The Maybe you'll have a, hopefully you'll have a better end point after Filoni oh, and then we're all done. Yeah. Well, yeah, here's yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. Episode, uh, the Mandalorian season two takes place five years after return of the Jedi, which is exactly when the Thrawn trilogy begins. Mm, I like it. So I'm just saying, yep. Yep. They could do it. Sure. I know as fact Disney will never retcon the sequels and everything that they create doesn't have to be canon stories, Starkiller. Yes. Do, Maria, do it. I'm with you. Do yeah. the Starkiller thing. I think they should do it. I celebrate it. I know. Like, why is this such a bad idea whenever I say something that I want to see? Like, it's... If I had 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, I guarantee you no one would bat an eye. No one would care. Yeah, sure. Nobody would give a shit. No one would say Dude. anything... You know what I just thought of? If they don't do it with Starkiller, you should get with him and do it. He can't do it, dude. Dude, what if he could do it? He can't. I mean, we don't know what he's wrapping. He he could be contractually prevented from doing it. He is contractually 100%. He he can't make a Star Wars fan film. And I, I highly doubt... I highly doubt he'd want to really be associated with me. Oh, man. He doesn't even follow me. So it's oh, like, man. you know, uh, I can and I can understand why. Like, I, 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 I get it. Like, people Look, will we're gonna probably give him, him the people he care, may care about will probably give him grief about it, you know, perhaps. They I, probably I mean, would. But we'll corner yeah. him at celebration. We'll get him in the cantina, get a couple of blue milks in him, you know, <laughs> and, you know, have a couple of death sticks and then we'll we'll, we'll bring him over to the dark side. Yeah, Sam's the kind of guy that I, I feel like you could have a couple of brews with and, and just nerd out be bros yeah absolutely yeah. he seems like that kind of dude seems like a cool guy um but given circumstances i do feel that my image online um a lot of people most probably think not a lot but some people who don't know me think i'm toxic and i could see how in the eyes of disney that's probably not a good look yeah. that's why i don't get free stuff from them or like sent out to play fallen order and stuff like that yeah. So I could see why, you know, the people who are working for actual Star Wars don't really want to be associated with me, which makes sense. I understand. Mm. A Finn spin off, would you call that a Finn off? <laughs> Dear, I feel huh. you, but as much as I hate them, I still care about the sequel trilogy because they are current end of the story, end to the story. We need something better. Yeah, look, again, I understand that they're canon, but in my head, I just feel differently, you know? In my head, I just see Luke having a different ending. It just makes me sleep better at night. That's all. Uh-huh. He was my hero. I want a whole five season series of Crystal Wolves. <laughs> you and like two other people. Uh, wasn't a fan of sequels. I'm so down for Finn since he was the best character in The Force Awakens. Join the Knights of Tuss. And by the way, Josh, let me know when we got to go for the. Um... Oh, as, I mean, we got like 20 minutes. If we get out, get out here at uh, 9 okay. 15, we should be. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, so I can, I can get through this. Yeah. Um, I hated the prequels before I saw the Clone Wars. I think a similar show on the sequels would help a lot of people like the films more. I don't know. I don't think there's really anything they could do. I mean, at at, at this point, it's like. I mean, the story has been told, you know what? Yeah, they don't even really leave themselves a lot of room, you know, because if they would have had more of a gap between maybe last yeah. jedi and rise maybe because that's really isn't that where all of clone wars takes place it takes place after it, it takes place between episode two and three yeah 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 so i mean like dude if they would have left themselves a little bit more rope there they could have done it because kylo doing his thing in the galaxy taking over planets and stuff that could have been cool dude that would have been sick yeah kidding you gotta be yeah. kidding me you got to yeah. be kidding me had suspected a show would be done with Ray giving birth to a child created by Ben via the Force. As a mother, I feel that would be interesting. 
I mean, I'm into it, but I know a lot of people not down with that. Yeah, I wouldn't be interested in that, but I could see why you would like it. I saw a post on Twitter with Luke was telling Ray, you are on this council. We don't get you the rank of Skywalker. I love your vids. Well, well, technically in canon, he did. He gave her the nod. I love your vids. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. Wasn't episode nine the Iger cut that was put out in the cinemas, which JJ liked? Out of all the rumors, rumored episode nine versions, if rumors were true, boardroom controlling creativity could explain a lot with story beats. In the no home. way, dude. First of all, JJ, good try. Get out of here. I know it's you. Also, there's no way that's true, dude. JJ was given, JJ would not have come back to nine unless he got full Cur Blanche to do all his stuff. Why do you think all that ridiculous, like, uh, we're not going to retcon stuff, but the hold up maneuver that was one in a million and all that kind of stuff. That's yeah, yeah, all yeah. JJ. That was all JJ stuff. The whole yeah. thing was JJ. People yeah. that don't think that was JJ's film, dude, come on. Is it even a common thing to be in between liking and hating the sequels? Probably. Yeah, I would say it's pretty common. Yeah, I don't hate them. I just, I just don't really acknowledge them. I don't know, sue me. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Constantly talk about how much I don't like them? Right. No, but if the subject comes up, you know, I'll explain my views on them. And I know that there are millions of people who feel the same way as me, and there are millions of people who don't, and that's that's fine. Imagine if we were all thinking the same. Yeah. Just a question. What, when do you become okay with them saying, f straying from George? Think of this comparison. Christopher Tolkien hates the Lord of the Rings films. And they couldn't be more different, but are loved. Where's the line? Mm. Well, dude. The line would be if you... Let's say I throw a ball, okay? There's a trajectory of this ball. It's going to go like this. Let's say I throw the ball and halfway through, the ball freaking goes backwards or goes this way or like some way that doesn't look proper. I think that's the line for me. Um, we yeah. have a preconceived notion of these characters. They were set up in a way for 40 years to have this personality. And then we got legends and all that that went afterwards. Now, if you take that personality and you, you completely just shift it uh, to something that is no longer congruent with what that character had set out to be or what he was established as, for over 40 years in our minds, then it's not, you're not whining about, oh, my nostalgia. It's just like, hey, this friend I knew just completely changed. It's yeah. not the same friend anymore. This is a different person, you know? And that's how I feel about it. Yeah. I, I would just say, the only thing I would add is that I think with Peter Jackson, yeah, they change a lot, you know, from the books, mm. but he stays true to the spirit of the thing, dude. Like it's the, the, the dark side versus the light Gandalf versus Sauron, the ring and, you know, all this, there's a lot of stuff like the, to me, the changes that are made are in the, they're made in the service of cinema. You know what I mean? Like they're not, they're made in the service of the vibe, you right. know? And so I think that's just kind of a little bit different. Um, yeah. True. The, could Roasty could be Jar Jar on a fight? No, no one could be Jar Jar on a fight. Well, maybe he's a Sith Lord. Maybe. What if a Ray centered show on a quest to get Ben Solo back and add in Ahsoka Tano to help her? Maybe with the World Between Worlds. My no, I don't want World Between Worlds. I just feel like it messes too much stuff up. Yeah. And a Ray show focusing on getting Ben Solo back from the dead is just. <laughs> I, I think know. that, like, what, dude, what? that's like what they probably would have wanted to do if it hadn't have gone completely off the rails. I mean, bro, they legit made the, they made, look, I don't, I'm not trying to be this guy, but episode nine pissed everybody off, bro. They pissed the people that were riding hard with, uh, you know, The Last Jedi. It, it pissed people off that didn't even like The Last Jedi. You know what I mean? Like, it was pretty. Josh, could you imagine if there was a show based on Ray bringing Kylo back from the dead? how that would completely just take a dump on what Anakin was trying to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, it would be pretty wild. I know some fans and a lot of the Raylos would absolutely love it. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, like, dude, nah, fam. Nah, fam. You can't do that. I don't even want Ray. Like, to be honest with you, I'm a fan of this Finn show thing. And in some ways, I'm a fan of it because I'm like, that's the direction. Don't do the Ray thing. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm like, do this. Like, let him be the one. So I think Ray was so cool in the Duel of the Fate script. Yeah, she was way cooler. She was way yeah. cooler in that script. Yeah. Oh, well, do the sequels really deserve the hate? No, they don't deserve the hate. They just deserve to be discussed. Fair. Yeah, I don't think anything deserves hate, really. Josh is a Disney shill in chat. Love you, Josh. Thanks, Melvin. That's Joshua. Oh, okay, my bad. Starkiller <laughs> could still happen under a modified story. Vader wouldn't have to kill Starkiller like he did in the game, then made into a clone. No, that wouldn't work. Dude, think. just go ham, get put Vader in there, put Hayden in there, and go mm. ham with it and just call yeah, it Legends. Yeah, what the hell? Mm. Who cares? Just say that it happens in a multiverse in Marvel. Yep. Hey, man, if anything is possible in those multiverses, then Star Wars is possible in any sort of multiverse. For sure. Richard Braley. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Says this is the way. Josh, don't forget to ask Theory about reacting to the Spidey trailer if it drops. A oh, yeah, whole hidden Sith Empire, pure blood and all, in the unknown regions that doesn't go by the rule of two seems like a much cooler villain faction than the First Order, surely. I agree. That would be sick. Jay Swan, thanks. Like, why don't you give the sequel character second chance? Like, they could be well written in a serious. Um, because it's after the fact. You know, that, that's the problem. Ooh, Dr. Grace's Pineapple Express for movie bros. Yeah, Pineapple Express is dope. Have you ever smoked a bit of the... the... S smoked a bit of the old Toby, as they say, yeah, in the, the Lord of the Rings? Yeah. You know, I, I, may have, I may have experimented here and, here and there, you know? I've never. Never in your life? No. Maybe at the right time. No, you're the right time in the right place. You have any interest? Honestly, dude, some people don't, and that's totally, totally cool, man. I, uh, I've you never know, when I was younger, a drug, I used to like, I never, yeah, just don't care. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like my girlfriend. She's, she just, she likes having her, uh, her faculties. You know what I mean? And she likes being sort of clear. And mm -hmm. I get that. Totally get it. Maybe I'm just so wacky that I'm like, man. No, man. A lot of people do it. Yeah, I don't judge anything. It's, it's, it's probably relaxing. But um, yeah, yeah it's not, for, not for me. I don't know. Um, JJ's writing is problematic because it ripped off. I was going to say, like, if I was and you and I were, we could we could have done that and watched Pineapple Express and react. Oh, that. for sure. It's freaking hilarious. But um, yeah. yeah, maybe in another the first way. time I saw that movie, I was I was baked as a cake. I'll be, be honest with you. I was baked oh, as really? a cake. And bro, I yeah. laughed so hard. Like was. that opening scene with Bill Hader, we talk about like, I feel like a pile of flapjacks a slice of butter oh man it just did me in totally did me in i don't even remember it was so long ago anyways um has dave floney wait what was this jj's writing is problematic because it ripped off a new hope newness doesn't breaking expectations and honoring them sure doesn't mean repeating it uh has she given dave floney the keys to the car rather than rj the entire discussion on the sequels would have been totally different lameo mm. agreed agreed Mm -hmm. I think so. But also, I just read something that Dave Filoni said. Um, oh, God. What was it? I just remember reading it, and I was like, what? Why would he say this? It was like him and Pablo were saying something. Oh, God. I forgot. Um, I think Melvin sent it to me. I mean, I'm sure he said stuff that I don't agree with. You know what I mean? Like almost everybody that's just well, I've like, never met to me, someone that I agree with everything they've said. Yeah, it's like weird. Like, right, we fixate on these things. And I think there's a lot of people just looking to retract Dave. Like a lot of people bring up that thing he said in 2016 at a woman's convention. I think that's the most ridiculous thing to bring up. First of all, anybody who has a job. This is what I can't stand about people, dude. OK, this dude has a job and he goes to a women's convention and it's a part of his job, okay? You don't think you're going to act a certain way or say certain things to the mm. crowd at a woman's convention? 
like and then they want to take it out of context act like he just said it in the heat of star wars stuff and that he's talking to all the fans that are upset no that's not what happened like you're building a narrative it's 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 crazy to me yeah what is a woman's convention well you must be a virgin giggles should go to one what is a woman's convention actually now that you mention it it's where you go to meet the ladies it's a it's a place my understanding no, it's is it's a, it's a place no, it's where, where okay yeah yeah it's definitely not that it's a, yeah i was just clowning it's like what's a what's a man's convention like what, like what do you, you know what, what happens at a woman's convention you never been to the he man woman haters club i'm pretty sure drunk 3po started it you mean little rascals <laughs> yeah 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 giggle hey. says i am an incel <laughs> Yo, yeah. oh man, yeah, oh, that's fun. No, well. uh, where are we at here? Also, regarding <laughs> Luke and the Last Jedi, people charge change. No one is going to stay the same forever. Like it's been thirty years since Return of the Jedi. He might have seen some accounts of the Jedi not being treated as these great wars. Yeah, but absolutely. And it could have, you know, Last Jedi could have been really sweet had he freaking actually. Remember when he was connecting with Leia and he's like, okay, you know what? I need to stop being a little bitch and I need to yeah, go yeah, off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would have been sweet if they rolled with that and they went to Snoke's palace or whatever on his yeah. ship and they him oh, and Ray fought him and Dude. Kylo and the Praetorian guards. Honestly, that man, would have been so sick. That that's the thing that really irks me about that movie the most is that it's so beautiful and some of the stuff they do is so cool. It's just like, why did they have to do all this other ridiculous stuff again? Like, dude, Ryan Johnson, like I like Looper, but he's pretty much a nobody at this point. How are you going to give at the time of him hired being hired? Right. How are you going to give this nobody writer and director and <laughs> producer yeah, on yeah, the yeah. most important sequel of all time? And then how are you going to just let him have Ker Blanche and not understand that's a bad idea? Like, dude, it's a shame because there were. It was, it was, Think about how different shit would be now. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 100%, dude. No, it's, it's like, you know, you, you, your kid just gets his license and you give him a freaking Bugatti Veyron. Yeah. You give him a, a goddamn Lamborghini Aventador. It's like, yeah, right. I was like, what do you think is going to happen, dude? What? Yeah. And you turn the traction control off. It's like, why would you do this? Right. Um, Where was I? Where was I? I don't want a Finn series in addition to low developed characters. The sequels did not world build. There isn't a world I want to explore in the sequels. No planets, no secondary characters, nothing. It's all good, man. Feel the way you feel, brother. When Leia went to Rey, who she never met instead of Chewie after Han died, I knew we were in trouble. No, that's when freaking Han died. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. And Leia didn't hug Chewie. Like, what the yeah, that was pretty ridiculous, dude. That was what pretty ridiculous. Dude, put some fans. Just put some fans in the room. You know what I mean? Oh no, dude. Thinking about KK makes me laugh. Oh Jesus, I'm not reading that. Uh, giving us something new equals rehash terrible characters. But didn't Kylo get injured by Chewbacca? That's why Ray was able to beat him. No, come on. I shouldn't be able to still beat him. <laughs> and to send us to Canto Bite with zero payoff, like none of that was even necessary. I know. But the only thing so about weird. The best thing about Canto Bite for me was that one creature character guy that was the just a little like, screaming. Nya, 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 nya. Yeah. yeah, that was funny. That was funny. With the eyebrows. And to send us to... All right. I thought Finn was the most interesting character after The Force Awakens, seeing a Stormtrooper switch sides and had so much potential. Hopefully he gets justice. I hope so. Yeah, and I hope John is going to be happy, but... Have you watched the P react to Star Wars on YouTube? Absolutely hilarious. Please react to it. Maybe on my gaming channel. It's a little more... Uh, Rated R in that channel. Rancors in live action? Sure. Have you all cool. watched the Revenge of the Sith Supercut? No. Song during the last scene. Right. We read that one. Have you seen the Darth Maul fan film Contract of Evil? No. Mm -mm. Made a cool fan fiction of a youngling Anakin killed during Order 66. I think it would be up your alley. It takes place right before the youngling room. <laughs> Wait, you did? You made a cool fan fiction of a youngling Anakin? Wait, what? Of a Oh, a youngling that Anakin killed? Yeah. 
So he maybe Bandit. didn't kill it, and then he came back, and that'd be kind of interesting. Been watching you for three years. I really like your stuff. You have some hot takes sometimes, but overall, I love your stuff. Keep doing you. Yeah, I have my moments sometimes. Thanks, man. Thanks for sticking with me. Why don't you give the sequel characters a second chance? Like they could be well written in a different series. Yeah, they could be, but I just feel like it's after the fact now. Invite Josh's buddy Melvin for a movie bro episode. I'd be down. <laughs> we should make him Josh. watch the sequels with us. Uh, yeah, Josh T minus. He'd melt. He'd melt. Josh T minus one hour for Spider Man. Okay, so oh, we're like eighteen we minutes. We're eighteen minutes away from the chair. If we wrap up in five here okay job of the hut did you see my super chat um i lost where i was ryan johnson tweeted about how he liked the prequels and the mortis arc in the clone wars give me a series about captain frodo and the arc troopers from the second clone wars <laughs> circular series with sam must happen if some of those people don't like the idea don't watch it the star wars what if series is in order yeah it'd be down Hey, Theory, I'm starting the Legacy of the Force and Fate of the Jedi series. Do you think it's important to read NJO or Jedi Academy books first? Also, what's your favorite Star Wars book? Favorite Star Wars books? I like the Plagueis book, but Dude, I also really like... Plagueis. Something. Yeah, I, I also like Dooku Jedi Lost. It was... Okay. It was it was good. I like Lords of the Sith a lot. That's, that's one that I really like. Mm. Too honest, tired of Star Wars having to connect every character's lineage at this point. Just want a Star Wars film series set 1,000 years in the future of the past. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, hey, guys. I love your content. It really feels like we are at sat down in the same room. You both bring me so much joy. You deserve all the success and more. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, man. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, thanks for, guys. Thanks for sending in 675 bucks for a nice Sick. episode. For sure. Which, which um, YouTube takes 30% of. So you paid YouTube 30% of that. Yep. Thank you. Keep the lights on at YouTube. Well, if you do it on Apple, too, you do another 30%. If you're on an iPhone, don't super chat on iPhone. What? Yeah, bro. I was looking into this. I was like, what is happening with some of these? So they take chats? 60%? Well, I think it's 30 and then 30, so it's not quite 60, but yeah, it's a lot, bro. What, what are it's, you talking about? 30 and 30 is 60? No, like... So I think oh, Apple takes 30 right 30. off the top, and then Google will take 30 of what's left, which might even be more now that I think about it. I don't know. Somebody explain this to me. Jesus. Antonio Banderas has talent card or bust. Take my money. That'd be fun, dude. He would be good. Yeah. Talent. Yeah. yeah, Antonio Banderas should be in a Star Wars film, I feel. Are you going to read my Super Chats? Uh, yeah, I was. I'm sorry, man. I was talking. Right, so let me make an announcement. Sometimes when we're doing live streams, I'm not going to read your super chats right away because we're having a conversation. That being said, I will make an effort to read all of them at the end or if there are moments that pop up in between. Just a dono, Wu-Tang. Thanks, Area 51. Be careful out there. Melvin's video has inspired me. I'm going to start my own channel to roast Josh. <laughs> Let's go. I welcome it. I welcome Finn it. has potential to be awesome. It feels well deserved for a character like him. What will his lightsaber color be? I can see purple. Maybe yellow. No, what's with dude, they keep using yellow? Dude, I love yellow. Yellow's yellow my favorite it's, color it's, for sabers, though. It's dope, but it's just like they just it should be rare. That they have yellow now. That's yeah, yeah. No, I get you. It should be rare. It should be a rare thing out there. If you like, if you want a good comic, read the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles last run and as a sequel hater, I re no Frank. As a sequel hater, says Torn, I agree with Josh on having a Finn series. P.S. My Den of Nerds shirt just came in. Sick. What about your Sick. nerd theory shirt? Yeah, what about your nerd theory? I actually wore my nerd theory shirt today in the gym. Nice. Yeah. What if Mace had been the Jedi? Oh, we read that one. Do you think George Lucas could make an episode of Visions or do a live action anthology? That'd be cool. When will the R-rated Hut show like Sopranos come? Oh, that'd be cool. Probably in the book of Boba. Yeah. Can you guys do the Spider Man trailer reaction live? Yes. We will. Wait, okay. you want to do it live? We're doing it live, aren't we? Nah. I, yeah, it's I mean, live. It's still live on your you, channel. You guys, we're do it live? Um, yeah. Right, well, then on... we got to get out of here then because well, I got to set that wanna... up. Well, I was just going to do it on uh, as a vid. Like you and I just go over it and then I'll just upload it real quick. Because, nah. like, 
reactions you always got to do them live man they're more fun but the thing is so because i have the live channel and the main channel i would have to i want it on the main channel do you know what so i mean stream on both of them stream on or the I main channel stream. why don't you I can stream, stream on, on the, the main channel i could stream on the main channel well yeah. just because we have all the like the memberships over on the live channel so that way like i can do all my streams and have like that over there and then do like other videos and stuff like that so yeah we could go live on the main channel though yeah you could do that the den of nerds you could do two too yeah we could multi-stream but i don't have that set up i don't have it set up you, I need you, you to do a, a password reaction for the Den of Nerds too. live and i could stream i could stream oh there. just like plug in there yeah <laughs> that's gonna take that's gonna we're, we're cutting it too close i know i just want to get through these so i get yeah, yeah 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 uh do you think we'll see the ninth sister in the fall in order too i don't know maybe Josh, I'd miss having a girlfriend on stream. Once more, the Sims will rule the galaxy. And <laughs> we shall have me. What's up, oh, Theory? Snap. How's my boy doing? Apparently, Spider Trailer is dropping tonight. I challenge you to a lightsaber duel. All forms are allowed. I wield a 12.5 inch. Oh, but you already, you already got my beat. I would totally actually cry tears of joy if you started to watch The Last Airbender again. Parallels so well to Star Wars. With I know, I got to watch it. What happened to you ain't gonna Disney plus me, bruv? Either way, John Boyega deserves all the praise because he was a very slept on character. It's true. Yeah. Imagine an oh, oh dude, we're actually almost done. What? Nice. Real? Did I miss nice. anybody? Speak up now if I missed you. And post your super chat. Imagine an alternate ending of Rise of Skywalker where Ben lives and takes up the smuggler route like his father. No. What's up, Theory? How's my boy doing? Oh, oh read that one. This channel is the best scratch in med school. Okay, but I want you to understand your med school teachings. Yeah, otherwise... dude, don't, <laughs> dude, just trying to kill people, bro. <laughs> Doctor, help me. Right. Oh, I was watching, watching an episode of Nerd Theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching Nerd Theory. Sorry, bro. You did. <laughs> Would it be cool if you did a Star Wars or KOTOR playthrough. There's a bunch of lore in it. Yeah, I did. But every time I play that game, it like crashes. It's such an old game. I love you, Theory. And you, Josh, my second Super Chat ever. The first was Josh, and that one was and that one pretty lady. Appreciate you. Why are you talking about Josh like that? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what is going on, but thanks. <laughs> you got pretty that. ladies on your channel now? Any chance of ever getting an XR Coon series? Oh. Oh. He might be mentioned. XR Coon would be cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Did I miss anybody? Because I think we're done. Boom. Pac Man, sup? What's up, Rob? I don't think so. I think I think we're good. You missed nice. my super chat. God damn it! What was it? Uh, Ballard's media. Ballard's media. Ballard's media. Oh, I guarantee you've already seen, but I'd love you to watch Blade Runner films for Movie Bros. Just a suggestion. Much love. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen Great Blade suggestion. Runner? I love Blade Runner. I have. I have. I've seen both of them. They're amazing. The original Cyberpunk. Yeah, dude. What if Finn is Mac Win Mace Windu's kid? Oh, yeah. Thoughts on possible... Wait, where are these coming from? My kids, 10-year-old boy and girl twins have started listening to you. Thanks for putting out awesome content. Enjoy both y'all's channels. Oh, thanks, Todd. And thanks to your kids. Appreciate you. Um, thoughts on possible 10 to 12 trilogy and how you think it should go down like completely new characters or use the seven to nine um so why don't you have for 10 to 12 you could have ray be like an old lady and she's reading from a book and she's explaining the story of 10 to 12 because it's already <laughs> happened i don't know about all that What if the board crossed over into Star Wars universe? What odds would you give them against the Empire? They'd get slaughtered. Yeah. Well, the board's pretty tough, though. Well, no, the boards they can assimilate. Yeah, exactly, right? So if they started taking the homies, then it's game. Then it's game. Yeah. So I don't know, dude. I'm working on a... That's rough. Pineapple Express thumbnail. for movie bros? Your, uh, I need a picture of you reacting all crazy. Okay, what do you want me to do? Just uh, like your shocked face or something. Did you get it? 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, wait, can you just send it to me on your phone or whatever, or, or take it on yeah, your just phone? take a screenshot. Just take a screenshot. Uh no, nah, man, I can't. I can't. What? Why? Well, just because I'm already, I'm like tweaking this thumbnail as we speak. Yeah, you, you just you just alt print screen and then you control V. No, I know, but I have this dual monitor thing. It's it's not going to be good. You it's just got to do it on your phone. All right. All right. Where are right, you at? Okay, how do you, how do you want it? Some just some shocked. Just be, just give me a shocked face. You know. Okay. Like you're you like can't like. Give me an example. What happens? Like Toby shows up. I mean, I can't say. You know, I can't you say go. what's gonna happen. Something crazy is gonna happen. All right, there you go. There's Ooh. your clickbait. Yeah. Did you get it to me on uh, Discord? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh, I can feel my soul leaving my body. Yeah. Um, let's go. I just remembered. <laughs> being a lot of rumors like that at the time josh i'm sorry clearly it was a case of terrible writing then yo pat is a new member thanks starting my star wars novel collection what did you guys send like 50 super chats in the last two seconds like, what's, yeah dude can you tell me your favorite canon and non-canon book series darth plagueis and dooku jedi lost ryan johnson tweeted about how he liked the prequels and mortis arc in the clone wars who didn't star killer series with sam must happen give me a series about captain for oh, i think i read, I read these Hey, Theory, I'm starting Legacy of the Force and Fate of the Jedi. We read those. Okay. I know Theory, theory seriously wants to gas up. <laughs> they should have kept the Empire as the threat called the Remnants instead. I don't think a 20 or 30-year-old Empire is memorable to the galaxy. Smoke up with Sam Witwer and talk Star Wars? <laughs> a few death I, sticks never heard of I, I would. Yeah, yeah would. with him, right? Yeah, for the content? Sure, yeah. 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 People like Saitama, even though he is OP, but hate Ray. Why is that? Because One Punch Man is hilarious. What am I reading? How much time do we have? Oh, we should. I mean, we only have about seven minutes. But we should probably get out of here. Hakuna Matata, been a minute, my guy. How you been? What's up, Pac-Man? I'm not a fan of the sequels. I tolerate them. I like Josh, and I wouldn't mind if they continue them. I like the fun. Yeah, They're true. fun movies, but don't fit very well into the Star Wars mythos. I only said Pretty Lady because I don't know her name. Thanks for helping me stay sane through the hard times. Third Super Chat ever. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Clifton. It's all good. I just didn't fully process what you were saying. It's I don't know who this Pretty Lady is. I mean, it could have been... Uh, Play Movie Battles too. Maybe it's her girlfriend. That's off could limits. my girlfriend. Yeah, we don't talk I'm about have her. to let him know. Um, <laughs> Josh's gonna have to get I'm have to regulate, saying. yeah. He's gonna have to handle some play movie battles 2 mod for Jedi Academy. Any chance of ever getting an extra coon series? I love you, Theory and Josh. My second super chat, the first was with Josh. That one was pretty late. Okay, okay. I can feel Josh getting more and more anxious. I know, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, excited. I think that's it. All right, boys and girls. I think that's it. I, I, I hope I got everybody. Woo! We're going we're gonna to see y'all real soon. Real yeah, soon. go to the Den of Nerds because I'm going to be on there right now for the first time. And, yeah. Uh, th thanks for sending in 700 bucks tonight, minus 30%, whatever that is. And, that's and another 30 and an, Yeah. That's like $490. That ain't shabby. Ain't too shabby. No, but it ain't 700 Those. I know, right? YouTube. YouTube. YouTube's 30%. Damn it. Yeah, wait, let me see. And it's Canadian, which is technically like $80. I know, right? American. Yeah. That's tough. It's yeah. tough. Okay, I guess we're done. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you guys soon. See you guys over there and also for movie bros tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is pod racing. Uh, see.